In this video, I'll show you how to make custom aesthetic wallpapers like these for your phone or laptop using Canva and then using Photoshop. I'll also show you how you can sell these wallpapers online and make some money. Let's start with making a wallpaper like this for free with Canva. When you go to Canva, link in the description, click Create Design, choose Custom Size and enter 3840 by 2160 for a 4K desktop wallpaper or switch these numbers around for a 4K mobile wallpaper. Then click Elements and search for Wave. Now pick a few waves and you can add them to your canvas. Don't worry about their colors, just focus on the shape because we're going to be changing the colors anyway later on. You can make these waves smaller or larger and rotate them around by selecting them and moving the rotation button. You can also click to select one, come up to flip and flip it horizontally. This will make sure that your wallpaper is not too repetitive. Once you're happy with the layout of waves, go to colors.co, link in the description, and choose Explore Trending Palettes. Here you'll find many popular color swatches that we'll use to color our wallpaper. You can also select the hamburger menu, Explore, Trending, and filter the color palettes by color. I'll go with this palette. From here, click on the first color in your palette, then come back to Canva, select the first wave, click on its color, choose plus and hit command plus V to paste in the hex code. If your wave has more colors, set all of them to the color you just copied. Repeat this with all the waves and you'll have an almost finished wallpaper. Now you'll probably want to move some waves around and add new ones to make it look even better, but once you're happy, click share, download and download. If you want to sell these wallpapers as digital products, you can come back to Canva, link in the description, create a new canvas with the same resolution, then drag your downloaded wallpaper back in. Now click on it, choose Edit Image, and see all under Smart Mockups. Pick a mockup that you think looks cool for the wallpaper you created. Then go to gumroad.com, sign up for a free account. Once you're all set, go to Products, New Product, Digital Product, enter in the name, enter in the price, and write a brief description. Then upload your cover mockup that you just created with Canva. Move to the Content tab and upload your actual wallpaper file or files. Click publish and you'll get a custom free link for this product. Then you can share this link with your friends, audience, your grandma, in your Instagram bio and hope that eventually after three years someone will discover and buy it from you out of compassion. Okay, let's move on to making the wallpapers with Photoshop, which should turn out a lot nicer than with Canva. Because with Photoshop, you can customize them a lot more and add a nice drop shadow to each wave. Open Photoshop, new file, 3840 by 2160 to make it 4K horizontal, or 2160 by 3840 to make it 4K vertical. Then create. From here, there are really two ways to do it. An easy way with the brush tool and a more advanced one with the pen tool. Let's start with the easy way. Grab the brush tool, increase the size, set hardness to 100 and smoothing to 100. Choose black and paint the first wave like so. Add a new layer, move it below the first one, select a less black color and paint another wave. Repeat this process until your canvas fills up. Then again, go to Colors, link in the description, choose a color palette that you'd like to color your wallpaper with, click on the darkest color in your palette, come back to Photoshop, 
Select the top layer, click this button at the bottom and choose solid color. Now paste the hex code of the color in this field. Now hold Alt on PC or Option on the Mac and click in between the color and the first wave. Select the next wave and repeat the process with all of them. As I've mentioned before, there's a more precise way of doing this and that's with the pen tool. Select it and draw your first wave like so. Then click this button at the bottom and choose solid color. Pick black. Or if you already have a color palette, paste in the hex code. And OK. Then add a new layer and move it below the first one. Pick the pen tool, hit escape a few times to get rid of the old path and draw a new wave. Then just repeat the process until your background is filled. Now I'll also show you a secret trick to make the wallpaper look 10 times better. Once you're at this step, you can double click on the side of any layer with a wave and select drop shadow. I recommend you copy these settings for the shadow, but feel free to experiment. Now click OK and whilst holding Alt on Windows or Option on the Mac, drag the effect on all layers with the waves. This will add depth to your wallpaper and make it look a lot more awesome. Now to export it, go to File, Export, Export As and make sure Format is set to PNG for the highest quality. You can untick the transparency box to save space and hit export. If you're too lazy to make your own wallpapers though, I've put together the ones that I made in the video and threw in a few extra ones that you can find and download for free in the description. This has been how to make and sell your own custom wallpapers and of course, if you're still open-minded about learning something useful, watch this video next. Or check out my channel where I share many more useful tips and tricks.